Hello everyone. Welcome back to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to set up reverse proxy in Apache for two different ports. And this is the workflow diagram of how reverse proxy works. Let me explain about reverse proxy. What is reverse proxy? An Apache reverse proxy is a configuration setup in the Apache HTTP server that enables it to forward client requests to another server and then send the response back to the client. In other words, instead of serving content directly to clients, Apache Reverse Proxy acts as an intermediary between clients and backend servers. Here's how it works. Intermediary Server A reverse proxy server acts as an intermediary between client and backend servers. Request Routing It receives client requests and forwards them to the appropriate backend server based on predefined rules. The backend server can be a different server or the same server with different ports. We will write a configuration file to define the routes. For example, whatever the request comes to slash mobile, it should be redirected to application one. And whatever the request comes to slash web, it should be redirected to application two. Which means if a client searches for a domain, example.com, the request will redirect to the main website, and if he adds slash mobile at the end, he will be redirected to the application one, which has port 8080. And then if the client again requests for different path, like example.com slash web, he will be redirected to application two, which has port 8082. Response handling. After the backend server processes the request, the reverse proxy returns the response to the client. Use case, cost savings. Our client had three environments, dev, QA, and prod. Our client wanted to save cost on their development environment. The application had multiple microservices running on separate Docker containers. So, we plan to deploy all the containers into single EC2 instance and point the applications using Apache reverse proxy. This way we eliminated the cost of running multiple ECS Fargate containers and load balancer for the development environment. Should you require any cost optimization support on your cloud, please send us an email to contact at easydeploy.io. We will be able to help you. Prerequisites. AWS account with admin or EC2 full access. Basic understanding of AWS, Linux, and Docker. Mobexterm tool. What is covered in this video? We will be creating an EC2 server in AWS. Open EC2 service and click launch instance. And here you can define how many instance you want to create. Now I am going to create only one instance. And give name to your instance. I am giving as reverse proxy. Below we can choose what kind of AMI we need. Here I am choosing Amazon Linux 3MI. Choose the instance type that you need. I am choosing t2.micro which is eligible for free tier. And then create a new key pair. Give any name to the key pair. I am giving as reverse proxy. And then click create key pair. Our key pair will be download here. Under Network Setting, I am leaving everything as default. And then under Create New Security Group, an SSH is already enabled. Now we are going to enable HTTP for our web application. And I am leaving the volume as 8 gigabytes. And then click Launch Instance. Our instance is creating now. Now click your instance ID. Here is your newly created EC2 instance. And the state is still in pending, so wait until it turns into running state. Now it's running. Check the status check it's initializing so wait until it turns into 2x2 two two checks path.
Now it turns into 2 by 2 check passed. Now copy the public IP address and open MoBackstrom tool to connect server. Select session and then click SSH. Enter the IP address in the remote host. Enter the username. Click advanced SSH setting and then click the use private key option then select your PIM file. Make sure port 22 is mentioned and then click OK. Now we have connected to our Amazon Linux server. Enter the command sudo su to switch into root user. And then update the yum repository using yum update command and it's already up to date. Installing Apache web server. Now install Apache using yum install httpd y. Now check the status of Apache, it's running or not, using service httpd status command. You can see that it's in an active state. Now start Apache using service httpd start command. Again check the status of Apache, yeah it's active. Installing Docker. Now install Docker using yum install docker hyphen y. Check the status of Docker using service docker status. You can see that it's inactive. Now start the docker using service docker start command. Now check the docker status again. Yeah, it's active now. Configuring the sample app in the default Apache path. Go to Apache default path. Check is there any files in Apache path. There is no files. So create a new file in the name of index.html and add some HTML content. Now save and quit the file creating two different Docker containers in different ports. Now run a Docker container for application one using docker run hyphen itd hyphen p from port 80 to 8080. And I am using httpd image. Now check our container is running or not using Docker PS. Yes, our container is running on the port 8080 with HTTPD image, and we are going to use this app for slash mobile path. Clear another container for application two with port 8082 from 80 and the image will be nginx. And check Docker PS, yet container for application 2 also created. This will be use for slash app path. Creating a customized Apache virtual host file for reverse proxy. Go to Apache virtual host configuration file path. Check files in present directory. Now create a new configuration file in the name of example.com.conf.
Now open new tab in browser and search as Apache V host example. Open the first one. Now scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Here the sample configuration for the reverse proxy. Just copy the entire configuration. And paste in our Apache virtual host file. I am going to keep this line as first line. Just copy and paste in top. Here server name means domain name. So my domain name is going to be as example.com and remove the duplicate line from the bottom. Here I am going to add Apache default path as document root. Go to v host example file. Just copy this document root line and paste it under server name. Here replace our Apache default path so that if anyone requests for example.com, he will be redirected to application, which is inside this path. And here we have a word as proxy pass, which means whatever the request comes to the path, it will be redirected to appropriate backend server. Now I am changing this path as slash mobile, and then I am replacing this IP with my server's private IP address. Go to EC2 console, copy the private IP. And here add http colon slash slash and then paste your IP here. Here remove the existing one and then add the same slash mobile path. And copy the above private IP and paste it here. And I forgot to add Docker container port here. Add port 8080, which is belongs to our application one container. And then add the same here, colon 8080. Now, whatever the request comes to slash mobile, it will be redirected to our application one container, which is running on port 8080. The purpose of enabling proxy preserve host is to ensure that when a user requests a specific path, such as slash mobile, on a particular domain, such as example.com, the original host header is retained and forwarded along with the request to the backend server. This practice is crucial, especially when multiple domains are associated with the same IP address. Preserving the host header ensures that the backend server accurately identifies the requested domain and path, thereby avoiding any potential confusion or misrouting of requests. And then now we are going to add the same thing for application to container. Copy these two line and paste it here. And then change the path as slash web in both lines. In document root, we have mentioned the Apache path, so that when a user requests, for example, .com, he will be redirected to our default Apache path, and then, if a user requests for slash mobile path, he will be redirected to application one, which is running on port 8080, and then, if a user requests for slash web path, he will be redirected to application two, which is running on port 8082. I forgot to change the port previously. Now I am replacing our port here.
and here I am changing virtual host port to listen on port 80 so that our application will run on port 80. Even though our applications are running on ports 8080 and 8082, we configure Apache to listen on port 80. Apache then acts as a reverse proxy, internally forwarding incoming requests to the respective applications running on ports 8080 and 8082 based on the defined rules. Now save and quit the file. And then restart the Apache web server using service httpd restart so that our configuration changes will take effect no now if you have your own domain you can skip this step and directly point your ip to your domain however if you're using a domain that you don't own and want to manage its dns locally you can follow the steps below and modify your host file accordingly now i am going to point our public ip to example.com domain locally so that we can access our application using example.com Search Notepad and run as administrator so that we can edit host file. Now click File and open the host file, and this is host file path in C drive backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers backslash etc. Then select all files and open the host file. Scroll down and then go to the EC2 console and copy our public IP address. Now go back to Notepad and paste it here like this. And then give some space and enter our domain name here as example.com and save the file. Verify the process. Now go to the browser and search as example.com. Yeah. We got our application content from default Apache path. Let me open our configuration file. Here we have mentioned our domain as example.com. When I hit this domain, I got the content from default Apache path. And if I add slash mobile at the end, should be redirected to application 1 which is running on port 8080. Go to the browser and add slash mobile at the end. We should get content as it works that the default content of httpd docker image. Yes, we got the same. And if add slash web at the end, should be redirected to application 2 which is running on port 8082. Go to the browser and add slash web at the end. We should get content as welcome to Jinx, that the default content of Jinx Docker image. And we got the same. And copy paste the URL. Here you can see that the URL starts with HTTP, which means our application is running or port 80. That's it. We have successfully completed the Apache reverse proxy setup with two different ports. Conclusion We have created EC2 server, configured vhost file for reverse proxy, tested the reverse proxy. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing and managing their environment with AWS best practices. Thank you for watching.